Hello, in a video coming up we will look at one of the new Chrome OS 104 features and that's the ability to edit PDF documents. I'm sure most of you in the past have received a PDF document that you've received by email that you need to sign and date or even edit. And to do that on a Chromebook previously, you had to use software. You, there's online versions that you can use and there, there's some good ones. But the thing with that is you are putting up data because it could be a contract, important information. You put in data into that server. And although they've got data privacy policies, you might, that may be not be something you want to do. So now you have the ability to do it directly from Chrome OS with the Chrome OS 104 update. You have the ability to do that with inside Chrome OS itself. So we'll take a look at how it works now. Okay, so here we are on the Chromebook desktop. So from here, you'd need a PDF document. So I've just downloaded one from the internet. I've got it in my downloads folder. And signing contracts on PDF is something more common now because when we go for interviews, for example, a lot of us do them by video rather than actually going to an office to have an interview. And then if you're successful, they send you the contracts all by email and you just sign the contracts and send them back. So it is something quite a lot more common. And there may be other reasons why you need to edit a PDF document. So before you had to do it all online or download a program but now you can actually just do it directly from Chrome OS which is great so here's the PDF document you just simply open it like that and I'll open it maximize it up like that okay so this is just a standard PDF document and here you will see that you've got a few options so here for example if you want if you needed to you, you could type onto the contract or any PDF document you've got. So you could just, just put my name and you can do that. That's fine. And you've got color options down here as well to change it. As you can see, let's make it a bit bigger. There you go like that. And you can move that around. So you can actually do a lot of different things. So if perhaps you use working on a PDF document with someone else, you could make changes. So that's pretty good. And you've got a font option here as well. Um, you can even center it. So there's quite a few options you've got here, but I think one of the main what reasons for you needing a PDF document, you could essentially create one using this as well, just create it and, and save it. Um, but I think the main one is these options here. Now the options here, you've got, this is the pen, and then you've got the highlighter, and you've got the eraser. Now you could work for somewhere where they, Sorry, you could work somewhere where they want you to actually check documents and highlight any issues you could see. So for that, you could use the highlighter and then you could choose the color like that. And you could say, mm, well, I'm not too sure about this part here that needs looking at. So you could just simply do that and you could continue to do that throughout the PDF document save it and send it back to them so that's really good for that or if you've got one to highlight something can, i've just seen the contract you sent me i've got a bit of an issue i've highlighted it and sent you back could you, if you have a look and let me know what you think it just makes it much easier and it's more professional as well and you've also then got a record of what you've sent back so it's good for that but also it's good you, you could obviously use the eraser there if you need to to get rid of it as well like that all of it or just a bit of it but it's the sign-in, which is the good part, the pen. So on a contract, you'd most likely need to sign it, for example. Um, let's just do it here. So say we had to sign here. You could just use your pen and just sign it. A bit shaky. That's obviously not my signature, and it's a bit big. But you can do that. And then once you've done that, and I'll just put a highlight here as well so you can see it. So just put it in green, just do that part there like that. And then if you save, if you press save, you'll overwrite the existing document. So, or you can just do that and do save as, and then you could put um, edits to contract and then just save. And then if you go to your downloads folder, you'll see there edits to contract PDF. And if you open that one up, and you'll see all the additions we did. And if we scroll down, 
we should also see the signature as well. So I'm sure you would agree that that's pretty good that you get that now as standard on Chrome OS from Chrome OS 104, because previously, like I said, you'd have had to upload it maybe to a server. And if you're working on really confidential documents with your work colleagues, you wouldn't really want to be uploading to a different server. And there may be some rules within your company that wouldn't allow you to do that anyway. So you'd have to keep it all local by email between yourself and your work colleagues. So it's a really great way that you can do it. It, it perhaps it is more for people who need to use it professionally but then also you, you could maybe just receive a utility contract for a new utility bill and you need to sign it so it's really good I think it's a great new feature and it's all built in now within Chrome OS which is great it's a great new feature of Chrome OS 104 I hope you liked this video if you did please like and subscribe for future videos and thanks for watching